Cardano Dex Min Swap Yield Farming just went live, and in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to yield farm and some important information surrounding yield farming on Min Swap. So, with that being said, let's get right into the video. As of right now, you can yield farm on Min Swap or at least deposit your yield and start accruing rewards in about a day from now. This is pretty huge, and me myself have not yield farmed very much to be honest uh, i have stayed away from sunday swap yield farming at first because i knew it's going to be volatile but this time around i figured hey i'm going to try it out I'm just going to put a small amount of ada in the liquidity pool to yield farm with and have some fun with that being said there is risk to this so please please be careful and permanent loss is a thing and there's many other warnings i could put out there so do a little bit of research possibly even further than this video before proceeding forward if you want to stay on the safer side of things as there is inherent risk in crypto but also inherent risk in providing liquidity and yield farming that liquidity quick update too if you were waiting on min swap and you didn't convert your per ADA, you actually got airdropped the, the amount you were supposed to get so you don't have to worry about that check your wallets if you didn't convert your per ADA, and it's going to be airdrop to the people who bought it and didn't convert it rather than them just not being able to convert it so that's pretty cool now i want to talk about what you're going to need to start yield farming on min swap and you are going to need a capable wallet a dap wallet and obviously some liquidity provided and if you want to know how to get liquidity provided and you want to know how to get your wallet set up i have a video for that this is a min swap walkthrough that i did the other day for swapping providing liquidity and zapping to get ready to have uh, the liquidity pool tokens ready to stake and also if you want to know how to set up your wallet i have a full guide on nami wallet or if you already have your nami wallet just make sure you go into it and you enable collateral so you can perform transactions um, on min swap you're just going to go to the top right you're going to click collateral and you're going to make sure it's set and then after you've done that with nami wallet you're going to basically provide liquidity and if you don't know how to do that you can look at the video or you can just go to the website click zap and figure it out it's not that complicated and then once you have the liquidity token you want to farm with as you can see here we have a few farms um, we have eight a min if you're providing liquidity for that farm you can farm here and then the rest are listed below so there's a lot of farms to choose from the returns or the aprs right now are not public because we have not started accruing rewards I believe that it is going to be quite a lot um, APR up front, but with this does come potential. Hey, a lot of supplies coming in for this. Um, roughly 2 million min tokens are being provided on to these yield farms uh, for people yield farming. So this is essentially like staking your liquidity pool tokens. That's really what yield farming is here. And if you want to do it, all you have to do, as I said, is stake with one of these pools. Sorry. Provide liquidity to one of these pools over here. You can see the min swap pool has about 68 million ADA uh, providing liquidity for it. So that's locked um, in liquidity provision. Um, you can take it out, um, but right now it is locked in a contract, um, waiting for people to take it out. So people have chosen to leave it in the contract. About 70 million ADA worth. Now, once you're ready to go, once you have your liquidity tokens, um, you're going to be able to see them, by the way, if you go to your liquidity. And you take a look, you're gonna to have to connect your wallet, uh, whatever wallet you have. Yes, you can do this on mobile with the min wallet mobile. So that is really useful. And then you're gonna see here, I have 3 billion uh, tokens for the liquidity pool, which is about 3,000 ADA worth is what I've put into it. Um, so it kind of works out to an even rounded number. I have lost some uh, min tokens in terms of an impermanent loss as I started staking these or providing liquidity for these uh, the day they were automatically converted over to the liquidity pool tokens. So I haven't I haven't taken them out, but like I said, I'm playing with this. It's about 3,000 ADA worth. At least that's what I've put into it. So once you have your liquidity, you're good to go. You can go to farm and we are gonna go and stake with the ADA min pool. Keep in mind when you stake with this, um, you are gonna be able to take it out whenever you want. And you're going to be able to add more to it whenever you want. But if you add more to it, add more liquidity provision tokens to this staking here, to the pool, or you withdraw, you are going to 
automatically claim those existing rewards in your pool uh, for you and that is going to cost around 1.5 to 3 ADA so keep that in mind um, it is going to have a little bit of a fee for the Cardano transactions and the min UTXO to attach um, native assets now let's go ahead and let's stake we're going to click on it we're going to go 100 percent and you can see it's all your liquidity we're just going to click the button and this is the first time i've done this but MinSwap is a really nice ui we're going to wait for the transaction to build it might take a minute and if it fails you might have to retry it once the transaction does build however you can go ahead and check out the details if you want what you're getting what you're losing um, I am giving up my boost NFT. If you have a boost NFT, which I can show real quick here, um, it is going to give you some extra rewards on the first week of yield farming. So if you have that, it's a good idea to use it. Um, you can see it in my wallet here. I have this NFT because I, prov I provided liquidity or I participated in their initial bootstrapping event for liquidity. And now we can go ahead, we can sign this transaction and we will be staking our min to the min pool and we will be able to get min rewards about 50% i'm pretty sure exactly 50% of the total 2 million min that is going to be accrued and given out every day for the yield farms and yes this is a lot added to the min supply so keep that in mind and permanent loss could go up and we could start seeing um, our liquidity not paying off the apr as we're hoping for it to um, but once that happens, once you get in there, yes, 50% or 1 million ADA of the 2 million ADA daily rewards for min and yield farming will be distributed to the ADA min pool. Okay, while we wait for that to go through, I want to go over to the main docs of MinSwap and take a look at the yield farming section. They have outlined a lot of things here. I will leave this down in the description if you want to go back and read it. Most of this we've went over so far. Basically, you stake your liquidity pool tokens and you earn min rewards in propor proportion to how much the share of the liquidity pool tokens you are staking compared to the total liquidity pools staked in the, that farm. So people might be providing liquidity and they might provide forget to stake. So there's a good chance that min pool will get really high APRs just because they do have 50% of the daily rewards for the yield farming. That being said, there's a lot more to yield farming. Um, it's not the most simple thing in the world, but I do think that MinSwap has made it pretty easy to understand. Real quick, I'm going to go over a, an example. This right here is a pretty much just explaining, hey, if you deposit or withdraw, you're going to automatically be calculated and sent your accrued rewards. This is going to cost a little bit of ADA. And this happens pretty much any time you perform an action in regards to your yield farming uh, position, withdrawal, or deposit. Now, for an example, we can go over one really quick. Let's say you have decided to provide liquidity in a pair and you have, as a result, obtained 1 million LP tokens. So about a third of what I have. On day two, you decide you want to farm more and you get a, th a million more LP tokens. Then you stake the 2 million so now you have 3 million on your yield farming, the exact amount I have. Upon staking these additional 2 million automatically, the rewards from day one accrued for staking the first a million get calculated and sent to your wallet. As we mentioned, on day three, you want to withdraw 500,000. Upon withdrawal, the rewards for staking those 3 million are also sent to your wallet. And yes, you will have to uh, restake these assets. If they're sent to your wallet and they're in your wallet, you are going to have to go back and re provide liquidity or re farm those assets if they're accrued and new rewards because they're not part of the contract that you signed initially at least that's how it's set up right now and then that's pretty much it you don't have to keep your assets in there there's no lockup periods you can take your yield farming position out at any time or you could take your liquidity back and put it in your wallet at any time keep in mind there will be a chance that the price you initially put it in at and the one you're withdrawing at are different and there is some impermanent loss with the amount of tokens you have. Um, it really depends on a lot of factors. To me, I'm going to be testing it out personally with this smaller amount of ADA and smaller amount um, is still a lot, 3000 is still a lot, but testing it out with an amount to me that is more manageable and it's okay if I lose a bit of that balance this is where I think the best way to do it is have some testing, have some fun, 
Don't go put all your money in it if you don't understand. And that is the advice I'm going to be following today. Keep in mind, these APRs will be public soon, and there will be ways to see your accrued rewards coming up. Right now, you haven't been able to earn anything, so the dashboard's a bit unfamiliar. But as these things go forward, MintSwap will be making it more easy to see how much min you've earned, your current positions, and also the amount of permanent loss you're experiencing uh, with your liquidity provision. In the yield farming document, you can also see that there are different classifications of the farm sizes, aka how much allocation they're getting out of the 2 million min distributed daily. We have 50 points in the min ADA one, which is 50% of supply, and then 7% for Pavia, LQ, Meld, World Mobile Token, Dana. And then we go down the list, we have CNETA for 5.5%, and then we have Kitty Farms, Dog Farms, uh, a little bit less. So if you want to know how much daily min is getting given to farming these assets, um, the top is going to be min. The highest rewards will likely fall between the lions and the tiger farms probably. And we're just going to have to wait and see to actually find out the total end APRs after the first amount of rewards are accrued and calculated. Lastly, before we end the video, I want to go over the fact that the staking has now been completed. I have my booster NFT here of 130% and we have 3000 liquidity pool tokens staking with the ADA min pool or the lion farm, which is worth 1 million daily ADA distributed across the entire pool. I won't be getting a lot of that million, but I will be getting enough with this booster NFT where I think it does outpace the impermanent loss and I can make some juicy rewards. That being said, this is still risky. So yield farm at your own discretion. Please make your own decisions and please have a great freaking day. If you don't want to do this and you want to stake your ADA, please consider staking with the Jack stake pool to earn passive ADA on your ADA. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.